Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live this morning, everyone. Taking a look at the major averages, we're actually up fractionally across the board for the U.S. major averages here. The Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ all in the green right now. So with more on what's taking place early in today's tape, let's get on over to Jared Blickery over at the Wi-Fi Interactive. Jared, good to see you. Thank you. Day three of the Santa Claus rally, and we see green on the board today. But taking in stock what's happened over the last three days, we can see the Dow is just uh, barely even there. This is the futures, but it'll suffice for now. The S&P 500 just barely green as well. And the NASDAQ, which is up half a percent today, well, similar story there. So, so much for that little exercise. Now, I want to go to the bond market. A little bit of a reprieve today, at least in uh, some of the tenors. Five years down two basis points. We're going to see the 10 years down a similar amount. And the three basis points in the 30 year, that is down three basis points. But want to show you what's happening on the very short end of the curve. We got the 13-week T-bill yield uh, up 14 basis points. Let me just show you a chart. This is a three-month chart. Might be a little hard to see, but this is a line. So we are at the highest level. Let me put a max chart. This is the highest level that we have seen since uh, just before the global financial crisis. So the expectation that the Fed is still going to be raising rates uh, right there with uh, right there with us right now. Now, I want to check on the sector action. And here's what's happening today. Consumer discretionary retail XLY. That is in the forefront up Almost 1%, followed by retail and health uh, healthcare, real estate and healthcare, energy taking it uh, to the downside here. But let me show you what's happened over the last five days. We've seen tech and consumer discretionary; those got sold. Con- communication services that's still up, but that is uh, an underperformer. It's uh, less than the je- than the S and P 500 here. And then look at what's happening month to date: consumer discretionary down another 12%, tech and uh, communication services down 8% or thereabouts as well. The fringier parts of the market, along with the mega caps, are getting sold here. Here's what's happened on a month-to-date basis. Only KWeb among our leaders, that's the Chinese internet ETF, that is up. You look at cannabis, meme stocks, uh, disruption, IPOs, solar, chip stocks, gambling on the bottom row. All of those are still getting sold, so not a, not a lot of relief for those fringier parts of the market. I think that speaks as to the year that we are seeing right here. Indeed it does. Jared Blickery, thanks so much.